Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zathar Gardens. I'm going to be talking about my nopales here and how I prune it. I've taken enough pads off and ate them. Thank you to all my subscribers and the viewers for giving me some recipes. They were delicious. I tried it also with my Zathar powder just to see how it would taste. It wasn't that great, but I still ate it all. I like how if you prep it right, it almost tastes like meat, especially if you grill it and prep it like meat, marinate it like meat. It really does taste like meat. It's an interesting plant. And the reason why I planted it is, it is a great superfood. So that's why I planted this nopal cactus. But there's a big issue with this cactus, at least with my colleagues. They don't really train it, they don't prune it, they just let it go wild. And I don't want that. It starts getting raggedy looking, it starts cracking, it starts being a host for insects so I prune it regularly once or twice a year and how I usually prune is I cut it directly in half and then prune some of the pads off the bottom so it doesn't grow out too much like you see here this is the before on the next scene I'm going to show you after I prune what it's going to look like and voila there you go really simple to prune that's why I didn't really get too specific in this video. All you do is you figure out the height you want it at and where you want to thin it. Because it was pretty thick. The pads were just touching each other, rubbing against each other. I don't like that. So any pads that are touching each other, I remove one or both. And I thin it out to one, two, three, and four stalks. Three to four upright growths every year. And any growth going sideways making it a wider cactus, I take it off. And that's pretty much it. That's how I keep it at around six feet high. It's been in the ground five years now, I believe. So it is possible to keep your nopales cactus short and compact. And there's the remnants of the pads that are going to go into the compost pile. And the white that you see is paint that I painted from last year. So the openings or the cuttings that didn't heal properly don't get rotted out. Happy gardening, everyone. Okay, like, share, subscribe. And thanks for watching, everyone.